this is Smart Penguins, and in this video we'll demonstrate how you can add swipe to move objects into your game. Let's start with the first one. The first one doesn't have any physics enabled on it, and we use an is touch node to sense for touched. When the object is touched, we enable touch move, which allows you to move the object. We have the sensitivity set only in X direction, so the object wouldn't move in the Y direction. So the first car, when we click on it, we can move it side to side and it just follows our position. As soon as we let it go, the car stops. The second vehicle is set up in the same way as the first vehicle, except we set physics to dynamic and we set position factor Y to zero. Also in touch move, we modified sensitivity to 0.1 and set smoothness to 0.9. You can change those settings for your liking. If we take a look at the second one, when we click on the object, the car starts moving and with let it go, it continues to move with that speed. Third car is set up the same way as the second one. The only difference is for our is touch, we switched is touch mode to ray casting instead of AABB. What ray casting allows us to do is instead of using the size of our object to sense touch, we can use the physics collision shape of our object to detect it. And what we did is under start, we set the scale of our object in X direction to 20 so that our collision shape would be across the whole screen. What that lets us to do is we can click anywhere on the X axis of the car and we can swipe and it will move our car. For the vehicle number four, instead of using touch move node, we switch to use the four way swipe and connected move nodes to it so that we have a move of negative 10 to left and move of 10 to right. The physics and is touched is the same as in vehicle 3. For vehicle 4, we can touch anywhere on X axis of the vehicle, but it won't start moving until we swipe. One benefit of using swipe versus move is that swipe gets triggered once and if you move your mouse afterwards, it won't change your object direction. But if you use touch move node, then you can swipe it back and forth and the object is going to follow your movement. For vehicle 5, we use the jump nodes instead of move nodes. And as you can see, there's no difference between the move node and the jump node. You can use this knowledge to make the choice that you want for the style of game that you're trying to create. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, write in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.